Hello, this is Coro Schlierman. I am a solution consultant with Beyond 20, and the purpose of this video today is going to show you the new and updated knowledge uh, object in our version 970. Uh, Sharewell has made several different improvements to the out of the box knowledge, and so this video is just going to cover some of those changes. First thing that uh, you can see is that we now have an updated uh, UI. So this is to match all of the other updated forms that came out in version 9.6. Uh, we have our default form at the top up here. And then we have our overview form, which is down in a form arrangement tab. One of the new things that was added to the knowledge article is we now have the ability to identify a technical review team and a format review team. And so these teams can be configured to automatically populate as we start to fill out our knowledge article. So I'm going to go ahead and just select a article type. We'll do a how-to article. I'm then going to pick one of my services, and this is directly from your service catalog. And then you'll notice that when I select one of my categories, I automatically have the technical review team populated along with the format review team. The intent by populating these two is to help us uh, determine in our workflow whether or not we need to create assignments or approvals to those particular teams depending upon whether or not we are going to mark this article as visible to customer portal. The intent here is that we want to be able to have our technical folks review the article, make sure that it uh, is accurate, but then also if we're going to be making it visible to our customers, we may want to do some special type of formatting to make sure that it uh, or graphically represents what we want our customers to see. The first thing that you'll want to do is go ahead and take a look at how this is configured so that you can set up uh, your teams based upon when you select your category. To do that, this new information is stored in the incident category table. So I'm going to go to Tools, Table Management, and I'm going to look at my incident category table and you can go ahead and open up any one of these. I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at the ShareWell self-service, which is out of the box. And you'll notice that on this new incident category form, we have some drop downs here. One for knowledge article format review team. And then, of course, you have your owning team. The owning team is going to also be your technical review team. So you'll want to make note of that. And of course, keep in mind that this is completely configurable. You can do uh, many different things. This is just the out of the box uh, format. So you have your two drop downs. These are just looking at the different teams that we have available. You'll notice that we do have some new teams that were added specifically for uh, knowledge management in 9.7. So you have ITKM Enterprise, ITKM HR, and then ITKM IT. Um, these can be used to assign it to your, your technical review team. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create an article, and we're going to walk through the new workflow. So I'm just going to put in some test information into my knowledge article. For this round, we're going to go ahead and also make sure that our visible on customer portal is checked. Once that is done, I can go ahead and save my knowledge article. And now I'm going to start walking it through the different statuses. So first thing I'm going to do is send it over for technical review. You'll get this pop up thanking you for your time. The knowledge article is now in a technical review status. So you'll see that the team is assigned to our ITKM IT team, which is the same technical review team. So at this point, your knowledge article is able to be reviewed by that team, making sure that it's technically accurate. 
uh, the next step in our status is to advance it to technical review complete. And then you get this pop-up saying that you must be a member of the technical review team in order to proceed. So the user that I'm logged into right now is not a member of this ITKM IT team, so I can't advance it beyond that. I don't have the permissions to, to do so. Um, so at this point, what I'm going to do as a part of this demonstration is I'm going to add myself to that team in the admin client. So I'll go to my user, and then I'm going to add myself to the new ITKM IT team. I'll save my user record. I'll go back into my rich client, and here I will go ahead and log out and log back in so I get that new security token with the updated team. Now that I'm logged back in, I can go to the test knowledge article that I was working on, which is in that technical review, and now I should be able to advance the status uh, to technical review complete. So now our status has moved to the format review. So at this point, the assigned to team, the team that now owns the knowledge article, has been changed to the team that we identified who is going to be doing the format review. Um, also keep in mind that as part of the workflow, we assign it to the format review team any time that we make this knowledge article visible to customers. So once again, um, it, it's at, so now that we're in that format review status, we want to advance it to the format review complete. And of course, I'm going to get the same message. I need to be a member of that format review team in order to advance it beyond this status. So once again, I'm going to go back to my admin client and uh, edit my user. And I want to make sure that I am a member of the formatting team we identified. Once I have that added, I'll go ahead and save my user. And then, of course, I got to log out of my rich client and log back in. So I get that new security token. I'll go back to our test knowledge article. And now I'll be able to advance the status. Now that we are in a published status, you'll notice that my form arrangement has changed. I no longer see the overview tab, but instead I see this article tab, which shows me a summary of my knowledge article. This is something that has been updated and, and is a little bit different. Um, you also have the ability to edit the knowledge article. Of course, if you click on the edit, it will tell you that you need to put the article in a redraft state. So now that we're back in a draft state, my overview tab is shown again. I can make my changes, and then you would advance the knowledge article through all the different statuses. And so now we're back into our published status. You'll also notice down at the bottom that there is a new one step that has been created where we have the ability to email this article. So this is a, a new feature that they added to where I can click on email an article and I can select one of the users of my system. And when I do that, it brings up an email so that I can send this particular knowledge article to any one of my users in the system and just give it to them. Perhaps it's information that they can use and I can send it directly to them. One of the other items that has been added to the 9.7 knowledge refresh is that you now have the ability to change your review date. Uh, out of the box it is configured to set that review date to one year from today. So I have the ability to go ahead and click on the review date and I can specify any review date in the future and I can change that as needed. All right, the next thing that I want to show in the knowledge article is what it looks like if we do not have the visible and customer portal checked. So I'm going to go ahead and do another how-to. We're going to select our service. We're going to pick our category. 
I'm going to put in another title. And then I'm going to uncheck our visible on customer portal. We'll then save our record. And now I'm going to advance it to technical review. So now that we're in the technical review status, that's the body of action that would happen. You just review it, make sure that it's technically sound. And then we're going to say that the technical review is complete. And now you'll notice that instead of sending the article to our formatting, it directly goes to a published status. And so that's the one difference in the out-of-the-box workflow, is that if we are not making this article visible to the customer, we just simply put it into a published status. And essentially, this is for internal IT uh, use, uh, so you don't really need that specialized formatting for your, your customers. One of the next things that I want to show you is a brand new dashboard that was created for 9.7. This is called the IT Knowledge Manager Dashboard. So we're going to go to our dashboards. We'll go into Dashboard Manager. Under the Global folder in Knowledge Management, we have this Knowledge IT Dashboard. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this dashboard. And you'll see that we now have a dashboard that is specifically created for your individual that manages your IT knowledge. And so you have your various widgets uh, on your dashboard. You have articles that use the solution as a portal um, using that same methodology that's been in Sharewell for several versions. Uh, you have articles with likes, with dislikes. Uh, you have your published IT articles, articles that are ready for review, uh, up unpublished IT articles, and then you have a donut widget, which just shows that you have unpublished IT knowledge articles uh, by status. So you do have a new dashboard that has been added, and of course, all like all dashboards, these are configurable to meet whatever solution you need. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that it was insightful as to some of the new features that were added to Knowledge in 9.7. As always, we have many videos on Beyond 20's YouTube site. Please feel free to, to check them out and let us know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you very much.